guys, welcome back. I'm Christine of Side Street Market and it's another antique mall haul. But this time we were at the Beehive, not the, it's called Beehive Antiques in Holly Hill, Florida. And our total spend was $101. And we got one, two, three, like 17 items. So this may be a little bit of a shorter haul, but I do love shopping here, supporting small businesses, local businesses. Let's dive in and see what goodies we got. First off, I got this really cool, I don't even know what this is. Okay, Hasco Deluxe, made of selected wood covered with fine lithographed paper. It's this beautiful Asian scene on this red paneling. There is some age to the paper on the back and on the edges, but what a gorgeous backdrop. I thought that piece was really nice. Um, let's see if I can find it on here. Mm, the tray was only five dollars so very reasonable i picked that up and then we get to go into the bags to see what i got in the bags okay so it looks like i picked up some pot holders or this is just a trivet this is just a very thick trivet apparently and this little one here so they were, it was $3 and planter red tray. So one was eight and one was three. I'm guessing this one was probably eight and this one was probably three, but I thought these would be cute for upcoming whatnot sales. We'll have to, oh no, that wasn't what, that wasn't the trivet. Paw holders. Oh, they were $3 for the set. Okay, so they were $1.50 each. It was $3 for the pair of pot holders. Everything may not be exact, guys. I'm just kind of giving you an idea. And then I picked up a tile, and this tile was, let's see, $5. And I thought that this was beautiful. It's very kind of Texas, and it's got like the enamel that looks like the turquoise in it. There were two pieces. Um, this one is signed Tess Tessedri, T-E-I-S-S-E-D-R-E, -S -S -E -E, I think. But I did like the look of that and I've done well with the tiles before. Then we have this trivet, which this might have been what was $8, the owl trivet. And they have cute little like Gur bags. I like those. And then I picked up this little vintage napkin holder made in Japan. I thought it was cute with the flowers on it. And that was $4. So that was pretty good pricing. And it looks like I'm finding, um, I have one pot holder that was $3. I have another doily that was three and another doily that was a dollar. So I'm guessing this was probably three, three and there's one in there that's a dollar somewhere. Now, hopefully this belongs to this haul because I've been mixing up some of my hauls. Yes, this one does. This is a little um, Japan figurine girl. Now she did have a twin, but the twin had a repaired arm. So he did give me just the one for $3. I thought she'd be cute for a whatnot sale. She's super, super delicate ceramic. Her rose is still intact, really pretty. Really, really pretty. There's lots of paper crinkling guys, sorry. I'm gonna try to pull some of the stuff out and then open it for you. So this was a really fun day. You guys will have seen a little bit of the shop with me. Lori and I were hanging out, hitting the antique malls together. And we went to the Beehive first and then we went right next door to our old stuff antiques. So this one, we have another tile and this is kind of like a day of the dead one, earth tones, hand decorated. Um, so let's see, I don't know. I'm only showing one tile on here for five. Oh, teal bolero. 
Okay, so this one was, no, I have no idea. I have no idea, guys, but I will figure it out. It was four or five dollars. We will figure it out. I'm getting spam texts and they're going to my my Fitbit and it's like distracting me. Ooh, then I picked up this really, really cool looking vase. It reminded me of like a bathtub, but with a gold base. And it says 23K gold guaranteed. Look at that. So, I have no idea what the price was on this. <laughs> oh well. For, uh, there was a planter for four dollars oh well so I picked that up I'm sure it's like I open everything up I'll be able to like go back through and figure out what was priced to what and then there was this really cool made in Japan just a sleek mid-century black little trinket planter with the gold on it I really like that this was the one I have a feeling was um did that say KB on it I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. That's the hard thing when it's like very generic and they don't keep the stickers on. Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. So this is what the teal bolero is. And it is this really cool like little vintage ice bucket. Now, I think it would have had snaps on it, but it's missing the snaps. But oh my God, it's thermoware and look at that color. It does have a little age dinge to it, but... Can you say blue? So that guy was the $10. And then I have this little set of doilies. So I bet this was the other $4 one for a whatnot sale. I did pick up some ephemera. Let's see what else we got in here. Something's jingling in here. Oh, I got some jewelry. Ooh, I forgot I picked up this bowl. This is really neat and now I can't figure out which way it goes. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is an Italian Rosaro bowl. That was $12. I just thought that was beautiful graphics and worth it. So that was 12. So we have pot holders for three. We have a bowl for 12. We have the Bolero for 10. I got a notepad for 12. Which we can't show because it's a, it's a full set. So we got that, totally forgot about that. And then I apparently got some birthday cards, a whole stack for $8. So these will be coming to like a what not buy it now section. Just a whole bunch of cute little, let's just see what some of the funny ones were. So then, I, and then the earrings were $6. And these are really funky. I like these, check these out. I might have to keep these, but I really liked, look how cool those are. Yeah, those might have to go in my collection. Sorry guys. The pink lady was three. I got a planter for five and a green planter for eight. So I bet this was the $5 one. And this one was probably the $8 one. But then there was a $4 planter that says June, which might be what this is over here. Ooh. Oh God, it was upside down and all the dust came out and I thought it was a spider. So this is like a beautiful kind of Asian inspired geisha. And I thought that that actually went kind of well with this because it had the gold, but I will sell them separate. So I got one planter for five, one for eight, and one for four. So this was probably the five, the green was the eight, and the long one was the four. I'm just working this out as I go with it, you guys. The red tray was five. There was an $8 trivet, which I'm thinking was the owl. The napkin holder was four. Then there was a trivet for four and a tile for five. So this one may have been four and the other one might have been five. 
and then a doily for three and a doily for a dollar. Okay, and that takes us through all that. So, don't mind me. Let's go through some of these because this whole haul took 10 minutes. So we're gonna go through some of the ephemera. Now don't set up a howl. Ooh, I don't like this one. Now don't step up a, set up a howl, but I'm the snake in the grass to remind you it's your birthday. Then there's this one that says happy birthday and it's this cute little cottage. And then there's just um, like a little birthday wishes one with some pansies. So more like I might do like a, in this one, like it looks like it pops over. So I might do like a little lot of, um, you know, little flower ones. Oh, this one has kitties on it. Birthday greetings to you, sister. It has been used. Oh, this is cute. I've been waiting for the time to come to wish you a happy birthday. I like the look of that one. Oh, and then we have a little doggy. Then this one says, greetings on your birthday. If you don't care for shady jokes, then do not turn this page. Tisk tisk and, oh, so you do. Well, shame on you. Tisk tisk and at your age, happy birthday anyway. And it has a whole letter on the back someone wrote. Look how cute these cards were back in the day, guys. I love these. So these will be coming to some whatnot sales. Just another little floral happy birthday. Birthday greeting pal on your birthday. Some of these are a little more like, you know, like the cat one is really cute, a little bit older. For your birthday, why try to be clever and write something new? When this old standby still holds true, happy birthday. Cute. To an aunt, who me, I did not forget your birthday. Hope you have a happy one. Cute, cute. This is a cute little aunt one. And then we've got a wish on your birthday and it's got a little Scotty doll. This one's very, very old and kind of mildewy. And then we have, yeah, these some of these end ones are kind of really mildewy, so I'm not gonna go totally picking them up. It's almost like they got some water damage. But like, there's this one. And that's it, guys. That was my short little haul from Beehive Antiques. So if you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, guys, and I'll be back with you all soon.